Hello. You know when I'll create a video sometimes and I'll go back and I'll listen to it and I'll say something and it this 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 has really bugged me, right? I was so at one point in the video I said um that you know the exes in that instance chose me, right? Or the girl or right, to be a bit more specific. Generally speaking, right, this this is the irony, it's like no wonder there's so much confusion when it comes to the whole dating game in the first place you know somehow it's always got to be the man's fault but the man is expected to peacock and all of that and like uh, that's fine like it is what it is um but then when things go wrong it's always a man's fault right you, you've all heard the expression you know the expression you know it's always a man's fault and then having thought about what I said and it's sort of like well if where the, where this applies it's a thing the, the the chicks that went with um you know the chads and the tyrones of the world and perhaps had offspring with or maybe even perhaps became uh what is known as alpha widowed you know when when some of these girls get an actual top tier guy that does treat them well um but for whatever reason the chick wasn't happy or sought relations elsewhere whatever the case was um but they then want to find that um alpha chad that actual decent guy that they had in the first place that did actually care and look after him you know was there for them and all of that but despite wanting the criteria that that guy had they still choose to be with the guys that are sub that standard and being realistic you know that is generally what tends to happen in the relationships after the fact you know uh, especially if they've got something if, if the guys have got really something to live up to a lot of the time it's just not going to happen right because the 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 chick will have this mindset this this vision in her head about what she wants from a man in in the long run but then there's also because it's a, it's such a subjective topic it really is it does vary from person to person so i'm not trying to tar everyone with the same brush here right but that aside right <laughs> it's like i was sort of thinking back right is is it it sounds like i'm uh, like diminishing myself of responsibility by saying that well these chicks chose to be with me where it was a thing right now that doesn't mean that I wasn't playing a part or it's like oh yeah well, I did that 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 is the, the, the what the other the fairer sex tend to do it's like, oh it was my fault you know now, I'm not saying that it wasn't my fault I'm saying that I didn't I the man does not have the final say in whether he dates a chick or not unless we start going down a whole different path which i don't want to do because you know it, it can go down several avenues which, which could just cast further shade on the channel or whatever so but yeah that's no, just a thought i had it's sort of like well we don't we tend to have uh, as men uh we tend to have like uh, a view for the long haul and um you know try and work towards a goal and achieve it in in the hopes that uh that the people that we chose to be with as much as they chose to be with us you know are also aiming for the same thing because if they're not then there's there's going to be an issue and then there's the, the potential issue for you know how much honesty is actually going on in that relationship you know do both parties know that they're not actually aiming at the same target they're they're a little off you know I mean, you know a little bit off further down the line it, it it's it's the exact same as you know it it's i suppose leverage in a way when you think about it if if you're not happy with something the way something is going at a certain point and you choose not to say something or if you say something it, it causes a, a backlash a, an argument perhaps well, then what do you do then do you stay silent and just hold that grudge against you know forever like really and i suppose it also depends on how big a deal it is for you but 
still, nonetheless, it is an issue. And this this is why, like, uh, like, like I was saying in the previous video about people just not being honest and, you know, generally not being able to tell the truth a lot of the time. Maybe it's tell the truth to themselves. Uh, you know, they're not some something special. I'm just saying, none of none of us really are anything that special. We might have qualities or attributes that others might look up to or admire for. You know, but. On the grand scheme of things, it's it's all, for the most part, ego based. Is saying it because it's what it is, you know. But yeah, anyway, another really cheery video, as as always, just before Christmas. Uh, thanks all for watching. Till the next one, stay cool, stay free, peace out.